ready to learn how to import and use digital stickers and digital inserts inside the planner. So watch this video because I'm going to share with you all my best tricks and tips for using digital stickers and inserts. Hi, this is Tas from Powerhouse Planners. Today I have the daily notepad here and I'm going to teach you how to use digital stickers and digital inserts inside any digital planner. I'm using the daily notepad that you can get for free and all these stickers and inserts that I'm using today, you can also get for free by following the link on your screen or clicking on the link in the description. I'm using Noteshelf today, but most of the features that I'm showing you today will be available in other apps such as Good Notes and Notability. So to insert the digital stickers, you have to go at the top here in the plus sign and you either go to photo library if you have your files here in the photo library or you go back here in insert from this will allow you to go to your downloads and other folders inside your ipad so let me import one of these items here there it is i have the lasso two selected and now i can edit this image i can lock in place bring it to the front or to the back and also resize it as I want. Once you are done, you just need to click out of it. With this image in place, I can now write anything I want. I can delete it or use the lasso tool to move it. But the lasso tool will select the image and the text. That's why what I like to do is to only select the image and lock it in place. Now it became a part of the page and will not be moved if I try to use the lasso tool on it. I can click on it again to unlock in case I want to delete, make it smaller or edit. In the edit area, we can edit by moving the edges down and up or any side, or you can use freehand to make any selection you want. I'm just gonna edit with this this tool and make it a little bit smaller like this. So this tool is very good for you to create any personalized area inside your planner. Now let's go ahead and import a digital insert. To import an insert, we're going to go back to the plus sign. And my insert is in my photos folder, but you could have found it in any other folder inside your iPad. I'll click on my library and find my insert here and then press done. Planner inserts are just like digital stickers. They are images that you add to your planner page. However, planner inserts are normally designed to change the layout of your planner. So we have a daily notepad here, but I would like to have a weekly page instead. So we added the insert and now I'm going to size it to fit my page. I'll make sure I put in the right position here. And now I will lock in place. And now instead of having a daily page, I have a weekly page. And with this page in place, now I can use all the features in the app to write, erase, and lasso items and modify whatever I want. So now instead of having this daily layout, I have this layout. With the insert in place, you can also duplicate it. And the insert will carry on to the next page as well. So this is how flexible digital planning is. You can adapt and modify your pages. You can use the stickers to add color and fun. And you can use the inserts to personalize your planner.